This time on Sightseeing Spot Facts, we're taking a look at the Temple of Kukulkan, one of the most famous and recognizable structures ever built by the ancient Maya civilization. Located on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, the Kukulkan Pyramid sits within a complex of Mayan ruins called Chechen Itza, one of the ancient Maya cities of Mesoamerica. It is a pyramid, or more correctly speaking, a step pyramid, so called because of the stairways on each side. The stairways give access to a temple at the top, which may have been used for ceremonial purposes, offerings and sacrifices. It gets its name from the Mesoamerican serpent god, Kukulkan, whom it honors. But the pyramid also has another common name given to it by the Spanish when they conquered the Yucatan Peninsula in the 1500s, and the name is El Castillo. As well as paying homage to the snake god, the pyramid is also a testament to the remarkable architectural and engineering skills of the Maya, not to mention their knowledge of maths and astronomy, but more about that later. It's believed that Kukulkan was constructed by the Maya around 900 to 1000 AD, making it over 1000 years old. However, in the 1930s, researchers discovered an inner pyramid beneath the exterior one, showing that the outer pyramid was constructed over the inner one. In recent years, Non-invasive scans have suggested the existence of a third structure beneath the inner pyramid, which may have been the original temple. Its architectural features provide some fascinating insights into the Maya's advanced knowledge of mathematics and astronomy, as well as their incredible calendar system. The Hab calendar was an important part of Maya life, consisting of 18 months with 20 days in each month, totaling 360 days in a year. To align the calendar with the solar year, they added five extra days at the end of the year, which were considered unlucky days by the Maya. This brought the total to 365 days, the same as our modern calendar. Intriguingly, these numbers are reflected in the pyramid's design. For example, the pyramid has nine stepped terraces on each side of the stairway, representing 18 months in the Harb calendar. The five extra days are symbolized by five decorative features on the top of each side of the temple. When all decorations are added up, they total 20, the number of days in a Maya month. Furthermore, each staircase of the pyramid has 91 steps. If you include the top step, which is part of the top platform, the total comes to 365 days, the same as the number of days in a year. All of these details suggest that the Maya incorporated their advanced understanding of mathematics, astronomy and calendar systems into the very fabric of their designs. Perhaps also by design is the placement of the pyramid. It sits upon what is called a cenote, which is a natural opening in the ground that exposes fresh groundwater below. There are a number of them around Chechen Itza, and they were of great importance to the Maya as a source of water and an entrance to the underworld and home of the gods. An interesting phenomenon occurs when you stand at the base of the pyramid and clap your hands. You can hear a distinct echo that sounds like the call of the Quetzal bird, which was a sacred bird in Mayan culture for many reasons, just some of which were its beautiful feathers and long tail resembling a serpent's body. In the 1930s, researchers found two rooms deep inside the pyramid. A chakmul was found, which is a statue of a reclining figure holding a bowl, used to receive sacrificial offerings. Also, a red stone jaguar throne was found, beautifully decorated and coated with a red mineral that was hard to come by. 
the rarity of the mineral suggested that the jaguar might have been connected with an offering or ceremony when closing or renewing a temple. At one time, sightseers could climb the narrow steps to the inner chambers, as well as climb the steps to the top and enjoy views over the surrounding forest. But due to safety concerns and preservation efforts, they are both closed to the public now. Something that sightseers do flock here for is an event called the Descent of Kukulkan. Around the 21st of March, during the spring equinox, thousands of people come here to watch the serpent god come down the pyramid in a play of light and shadows as the sun moves across the sky. The sunlight hits the corner of the pyramid, casting a shadow on the balustrade, creating an image of a snake slithering down the side of the structure. All in all, Chechen Itza's temple of Kukulkan and its surrounding ruins, including the Great Ball Court, the Observatory, the Temple of the Warriors, the Temple of the Skulls, and many more, make it an unforgettable sightseeing spot and have earned it a well-deserved place among the seven wonders of the new world. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.